Hallelujah. I'm going to take an offering for our church today. Ja nüüd soovin ka võtta korjanduse kokku meie koguduse jaoks. And if you would like an envelope, if you brought cash with you today, the ushers will give one to you if you'll just get their attention. Ja kui soovid oma andmise jaoks ümbrikut, soovid anda sulle raha ja pidad arvet andmises, siis tõsta oma käsi, korra pidi ulatab sulle selle. I want to read some very powerful verses, some of my favorite verses out of a second Peter chapter 1 today. Aga ma loen mõned väga võimsed salmide, et need on ühed mu lemmikud salmide. See on siis Peetruse teine kiri. In chapter 1 and verse 3 and 4. It says and by his divine power God has given us everything that we need for living a godly life. Tema Jumalik vägi on meile kinkinud kõik, mis on vajalik eluks ja vagaduseks. He has given us everything we need. Ta on annud meile kõik, mida on vaja. To live a godly life. Et elada Jumala kaartliku elu. And it says and we receive all of this by coming to know him, the one who has called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. Ja tema tunnmise kaudu, kes meid on kutsunud oma enese kirkuse ja väärikusega. And so we receive all that he has given to us. Nii et me võtame vastu kõik selle, mis ta on meile annud. By getting to know him. Läbi selle, et me saame tunnma teda. It's through a relationship. Läbi meie suhte temaga. And the more we get to know him, the more we, we know who he is and what he has done. Ja mida rohkem me tunneme teda ja seda rohkem me teame, kes ta on, mis ta on teinud. The Bible is saying that more of God's benefits are going to flow into siis our lives. Siis Biibel ütleb seda, et rohkem häid asju Jumala käest voolab meie ellu. And it goes on to say in verse 4, it's because of his glory and his excellence that he has given us these great and precious promises. Ja edasi salmist 4 sel viisil on meile kingitud kõige kallimad ja suuremad tõotused. And these are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. Et te nende kaudu võiksite põgeneda kaduvusest, mis valitseb maailmas himude tõttu ja saada jumaliku loomuse osaliseks. So when we get to know him, et kui meie saame tunnma teda, we can become partakers of the great promises that he has given to us. Siis me võime saada osa nendest imelistest tõotustest, mis tal on meie jaoks. And when we know him, ja kui meie tunneme teda, and we get to know him by studying who he is in his word. Ja me saame teda tunnma läbi selle, et me õpime sõna, me õpime Jumala sõna, ja me õpime tema kohta. We can develop a relationship with him through his spirit. Ja me saame arendada suhet temaga läbi püha vaimu. When we know who he is, kui meie teame, kes ta on, giving to the Lord is so fun and so different. Siis isendal andmine on see on nii lõbus ja see on nii teist moodi. Giving to the Lord out of a relationship is is different than giving to the Lord because you should. Kui sina annad isendale lähtuvalt suhtest on hoopis teissugune kui see, kui sa annad lihtsalt et selle pärast et sa pead andma. When I give in a relationship, et kui mina annan suhtest lähtuvalt, I can give from my heart. Siis ma saan anda oma südamest. If I just give because it would be the right thing to do, you kind of give differently. Kui ma annan lihtsalt selle pärast, et see on õige asi midagi teha, et see on õige asi mida teha, siis ma annan teist moodi. But when we know how wonderful and glorious he is. Aga kui me teame seda, et kui imeline ja kui auline tema on, we will gladly give to him. Siis meie hea meelega anname temale. We will gladly give to his cause and to his kingdom. Siis me anname hea meelega, et täita tema eesmärke, et täita, siis tema kuningriigi jaoks. And when we do. Ja kui me seda teeme. We know God is going to take care of us because we have his promise. Me teame seda, et Jumal kanab hoolt meie ees, kuna meil on tema tõotused. And he gives gives us all we need for life. Ja tema annab meile kõik seda, mida on vaja eluks. He gives us all we need for ministry for him. Ta annab meile kõik, mis on vaja selleks, et teenida teda. So thank God for his faithfulness. Nii et tänu Jumalale tema ustavus eest. Thank God that he provides for us as individuals. Ja tänu Jumalale sellest, et tema üksik, meid üksikuna igat ühte varustab. And he provides for us as a church. Ja ta varustab ka meid kogudusena. And he does this abundantly. Ja ta teeb seda küllluslikult. As we put him first and as we serve him. Kui me paneme tema esi kohale ja teenime teda, Amen. Amen. God is a good good God. Jumal on hea hea Jumal. And I just want to remind you as a church that that we're believing God for for an upgrade in our sound system. Ja ma meenit meenutan sulle seda et me kogusen usume Jumalalt seda et me saame uuendada oma helisüsteemi. And we're about 500 euros away from reaching our goal which we would like to have reached by the end of next week. Ja umbes 500 eurot on sellest eesmärgist veel puudu mida me siis soovime saavutada järgmise nädal lõpuks. And so if if you get get something in your heart to to, to give towards that i encourage you to do that ja kui sina saad oma südames et anda selle jaoks siis ma julgustan sin tee seda we're going to get new soundboard we're going to uh, this 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 uh, piano that we're playing today is not yet ours 
Ja me hangime siis uue syntesaatori, klappili, et see, mida loona siin täna mängib, see veel ei ole meie oma. That is, the, the owner of that has loaned it to us for this Christmas season because we don't have the finances to buy it. Ja selle omanik on lainanud meile selle jõuludeks, kuna meil harjutamiseks, et kuna meil veel finanss ei ole, et osta oma. And I'm thankful, I believe he will be blessed for doing that. Ja ma olen tänulik sellest, et ma usun, et tema saab olema õnnistatud, kuna ta teeb seda. Amen, but we believe that we will have the, the extra finances to be able to purchase this as well. Aga ma usume seda, et meil saad olema need lisafinantsid, et osta ka see asi ära. And so just be believing God with us. Nii et usu Jumalat koos meiega. And again, don't, don't give what, what you would normally give in your tithe and just mark on that uh, sound equipment. Nii et ära tee nii, et see raha, mida siis taaliselt sa annad, mis on siis sinu kümnise, et selle sa nüüd paned sinna reale, kus kohas on see helitehnika jaoks. Because the tithe goes to the Lord. Selle... Selle pärast, et kümnis, see läheb issandale. Ja selle me paneme tema kättes. But I'm asking you to give over and above that tithe. Aga mina palun sul anda üle selles kümnisest. And that we would be able to, to do this for the church. Et me saaksime teha seda koguduse jaoks. Kind of an early Christmas gift. Et selline varajane jõulukingituse. For the church. Koguduse jaoks. And know that God is going to bless us continually. Ja tea seda, et Jumale jätkuvalt tõnnistab meid. And we will have the very best for our, our uh, Christmas concert as it comes up here in just a few weeks. Ja meil on Jumala parime meie jõulukonserti jaoks, kui see nüüd saab toimuma siin mõne nädala pärast. And again, I encourage you to invite your friends and family to that on Christmas Eve. It's going to be a wonderful time again. Ja jällegi me julgustan siin kutsuma sõpru oma perekonna tuttavaid Pere liikmeid, et lasnad tulevad sinna kohale, see saab olema suurepärane aega. Amen. So we're going to give, we're going to give joyfully to the Lord. Nii et me anname ja me anname rõõmuga issandale. So let's stand up. Nii et tõusame püsti. We're going to sing one more song together. Ja laulame koos veel ühe laulu. God bless you as you give. Ja Jumal õnista kui sind, kui sina annad. Vaatan risti. Isa, me täname sind sinu headuse eest. Thank you for your faithfulness to us. Aitäh sulle sinu ustavuse eest meie vastu. And as we put you first and give to your kingdom. Kui meie paneme sind esikohale ja arvame sinu kuningriigi jaoks. I pray, Father, that it would overflow into our lives with great blessing and great abundance. Isa, ma palun seda, et see üle poolevalt poolaks õnnistusena meie ellu. I thank you, Lord, that we can know you. Isa, ma tänan sind sellest, et me saame tunda sinde. We can have relationship with you. Ja meil saab olla suhe sinuga. So, Father, we give today and we give every time. Nii et isa, me anname täna sulle ja me annam iga korda. With grateful hearts, thankful for all that you've given to us. Tänuliku südamega, kõige selle ees, mida sa oled teinud ja annud meile. We know we are just the managers of it. Ja me teame seda, et me oleme ainult selle kõige maja pidajada. But it all belongs to you. Aga see kõik kuulub sinule. So we gladly do our part for you and for your kingdom. Nii et me hea meelega teeme teeme selle osa, mis on teha sinu kuningriigi jaoks. Now, Father, as we come to your word today as a church, ja nüüd, Isa, kui me täna tuleme kogudusena sinu sõna juurde, I thank you that by your Holy Spirit you would help me to speak boldly what you've given. Ma tänan, et sina läbi oma püha vaimu aitad mulle julgelt ja rääkida seda, mida sa tahad, et ma räägiksin. And we would have a great time as we learn together the truths of your word. Et meil oleks suurepärane aeg, kui me täna õppime sinu sõna tõdeside. Lord, we thank you for your presence in this place as we do. Ja Isa, me täname siin sinu ligiolu ees siin paigas, kui me täna teeme that you anoint every person that would listen to this message. Et sina võiad igat inimest, kes kuuleb seda sõnumite. We thank you for it in Jesus name. Ja me tänam sind selle eest Jeesuse nimele. Amen. 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 Lord of God. Well, kids, you're dismissed for children's church. Ja lapsed võite minna laste kirikusse. Everybody else you can be seated this morning. Ja teised kõik võite võtta istetena hommikule. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. Jumal on nii hea. Amen. Amen. Well, if you brought your Bible with you today, go ahead and open up to Matthew, the 18th chapter. Ja, kui sa täna võtsid oma Biibli kaasa, siis palun ava see Mattuse 18. And we'll read that in just a few minutes. Ja, mõne minuti pärast loeme sealt. But today is our second part in our series, Jesus is here. Aga täna on meil teine osa seeriast, et Jeesus on siin. And I, I hope that you know today 
that Jesus is here. Ja ma loodan et sina tead seda et Jeesus on siina. His presence is here with us. Tema ligi ole on siin meie keskel. And he is in our he is in our city. Ta on meie linnas. He is in this room. Ta on siin selles ruumis. And his presence is something that we can take with us wherever we go. Ja tema ligi on olu on midagi sellis mille me saame kaasa võtta kuhu iganes meie läheme. Because as a believer he is in your heart. Selle pärast et sinu kui uskliku ka koos ta on sinu südamese and he is here to help you in your day to day life ja ta on siin selleks et aidata sind su igapäeva eluse i want to encourage you that you would press in and that you would find more and more what it is that christ has for you ja ma julgustan sind et sa pressiksid ja pressiksid rohkem selles mis kristusel on sinu jaoks and he has come for us ja ta on tulnud siia meie jaoks he's waiting for us to respond to him and to his presence ja ta ootab seda et me vastaksime temale ja vastaksime tema ligiolule and i pray that as a church that we would respond to him today ja ma palun seda et meie kogutsena vastaksime täna temale amen be, be hungry for the word et me oleksime näljas et me oleksime janus et jumala sõna järgi be hungry for his presence ole näljane et tema ligiolu järgi as it says in Matthew 18:20. Selle pärast Matteus 18:20 ütleb. Jesus said for where two or three gather in my name. Jeesus ütleb sest kus kaks või kolm on minu nimel koos. I am there with them. Seal ole mina nende keskel. Jesus is saying that there's more that 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 is is with us than what we can see. Ja Jeesus ütleb seda et rohkem on meiega koos kui me suudame näha. When we gather together as a church. Kui me tuleme kogusena kokku. When we come together in his name and we always come together in his name. Kui me tuleme kokku tema nimel ja alati me tuleme kokku tema nimel. Jesus shows up. Siis ja Jeesus tema tuleb kohale. And when Jesus shows up things happen. Ja kui Jeesus tuleb kohale siis asjad muutuvad inimesed saad muudatud. And those who re- recognize him in his presence they are the ones that are going to be blessed ja need kes tunnevad ära tema ta ligioluse need on need kes saavad õnnistatud so whether you're here in this room or whether you're watching by internet need kas sina oled siin selles ruumis või sa vaatad interneti vahendusel however it is that you're getting this message right now kuidas igane sina praegu seda sõnumit saada i want you to know that jesus is where you are ma tahan et sa teaksid seda et jeesus on seal kus sa oled sina and he will meet us right where we're at in our life and help us to that next level ja tema kohtub meega seal kus me enda elus oleme ja ta aitab meil seda edasi liikuda järgmisele tasemele. So Jesus is here. Nii et Jeesus on siin. Amen. Say Amen. that. Say Jesus is here. Ütle seda. Jeesus on siin. Jeesus on siin. He is here with us right now. Ta on siin praegu koos meiega. And that makes me so happy because I know that we are not alone. Ja, see teeb mind nii õnnelikus, kuna ma tean seda, et me ei ole siin üksinda. And we need to expect to meet him when we come here. Ja, me peame ootama seda, et me kohtume temaga, kui me tuleme siia. When we come to church, we should expect to hear from heaven. Kui me tuleme kogusena kokkus, me peame ootama seda, et me kuuleme taevast. Whenever we gather together. Mille liganes me tuleme kokku. We should expect to experience his power in our lives. Me peaksime ootama seda, et me kogeme tema väge enda elus we would be changed by the time that we have in his presence. Et me saaksime muudetud selle aja läbi, mis me veedame tema ligioluse. So don't come to church and just sit there. Nii et ära tule kogudusse lihtsalt nii et sa lihtsalt istud siin. Sit there and listen to the good music. Et sa istud seal tooli peal ja kuulad head muusikat. Sit there and listen to the good teaching and read the little uh, screen. Istud seal ja kuulad head õpetust ja loet siis seda väik, väikse ekraani pealt selt asju. It's not about like watching a movie. Et see ei ole nagu filmi vaatamine. This is about participating. Vaid see on see et sa oled osa sellest. That you would come and participate in what God is doing here. Et sa tuled ja sa oled osa sellest mida Jumal teeb siin. That you would be sucking it in and that you would be be expecting God. Et sa imeksid seda sisse ja et sa ootaksid Jumalat et ta teeb midagi. And I believe the more expectation we have in this room it will create an atmosphere for God to do amazing things. Ja ma usun seda et mida rohkem meie meil on ootus siin ruumis seda rohkem saab võimalus et Jumal saab teha seda mida tema tahab teha. Because we need Jesus. Kuna meie vajame Jeesust. We need his presence. Meie vajame tema ligiolu. We need to know him in a real way. Meie peame tundma teda ühel tõelisel viisil. And I believe that we need to be driven by by his presence. Ja ma usun seda et me peaksime olema liigit liigutatud tema ligiolu poolt. That his presence would be the thing that causes us to get up every day. Et tema ligiolu on see mis põhjustab seda et me igal hommikul tõusem üles. Seek him until we can find him. Otsime teda kuni me leiame ta. And Jesus is alive and he is here. Ja Jeesus on elus ja ta on siin. And I am so glad that we serve a living God. Ja mul on nii hea meel et me teenime elavat Jumalat. So in this series I want us to see. Nii et ma tahan seda et me näeksime selles seerias. I want us to see what happens when Jesus comes. Et me näeksime seda mis juhtub siis kui Jeesus tuleb. I want us to see what he can do in our hearts and in our lives. Ma tahan et me läksime seda mida tema saab teha meie südametes, meie eludes. And if Jesus is here? Ja kui Jeesus on siin. And I I believe he is with ja all my heart. Ja ma usun kogu oma südamega et ta on siin. If Jesus is here, how will you react? Et kui Jeesus on siin, siis kuidas sina käitud? Kuidas sa reageerida? How are you going to respond to his presence? Kuidas sina vastad tema ligiolule? And I want to talk to you about how it, how Jesus
Jesus can affect us. Ja, ma tahan rääkida selles, kuidas Jeesus saab meile mõju avaldada. What he does and how he does it. Aga kuidas ta seda teeb ja mis moodi, mida ta teeb ja kuidas ta teeb. And, and, and we can know that when he comes. Ja me võime teada seda, kui ta tuleb. That we are going to be changed. Siis meie saame muudetuda. When Jesus comes in a room. Kui Jeesus tuleb ruumi. Everything is different. Siis kõik on teistmoodi. When you ex- when you sense his presence and respond. Kui sina koged tema ligiolu ja sa vastad sellele. Anytime his word is taught. Iga kord kui tema sõna on õpetatud. The Bible says that he is there. Siis piibel ütleb et tema on seal. And so anytime you are hearing the word of God. Nii et iga kord kui sina kuuled Jumala sõna. Respond in a way that this is alive and this is living and this is for me. Siis vasta sellisel viisil et see on elav, see on tõeline ja see on minu jaoks. And through that 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 presence we can develop a relationship with him. Ja läbi selle ligiolu me saame arendada suhet temaga. Because Jesus is whatever we need him to be. Kuna Jeesus ta on kõik see mida meie vajame teda olevat. And we can truly experience his presence. Ja me tõeliselt saame kogeda tema ligiolu. Are you expecting that today? Kas sina täna ootad seda? Yes. Lona is. Is anybody else? Lona ootab. Kas keegi veel? Amen. I'm expecting to receive. Mina ootan et vastu võtta. This is not just come to church so we feel better about ourselves. Et see ei ole nii et me tuleme kogudusse selle pärast et me lihtsalt tunneksime ennast paremini. If that was it, I can suhtes. If that was all that we're doing. Kui see oleks kõik see mida meie teeme. I can think of a whole lot of more things that I can feel better about myself doing. Siis ma võiksin mõelda väga paljude asjade peale mida teha siis tehes ma võiksin tunda ennast paremini. But we come here for a, for one reason. Aga meie tuleme siia ühe põhjusega. To come together in his name on see et tulla siia kokku tema nimel celebrate jesus täistada jeesust ja experience his presence ja kogeda tema ligiolu and through that presence have relationship with an almighty god who loves us ja läbi selle ligiolu meil saab olla suhe kõik võimse jumalaga kes meid armastab and so when people realize that jesus is here need kui inimesed mõistavad seda et jeesus on siin i believe more and more people will come siis ma usun seda et rohkem ja rohkem inimesi tuleb i believe there will be a hunger ja ma usun seda et siis saab üles tõusma selline nälge i'm believing in expecting god in this next year for this church to grow for this room to be filled. Ja ma usun seda ja ma ootan seda et et see room et sin saab rohkem inimesi olema et see kogudus saab kasvama see room saab olema täidetud. Not for me and et, not for my sake. Et minu mitte minu pärast mitte minu jaoks. But because Jesus is here. Vaid selle tõttu et Jeesus on siin. Jesus is here. Jeesus on siin. Jesus is here. Jeesus on siin. Amen. Amen. I believe that with all my heart. Ja mina usun seda kogu oma südamega. Jesus is here. Jeesus on siin. And so so last week we looked at, at what Jesus does when he shows up. Ja eem nädal me vaatasime seda mida Jeesus teeb kui ta tuleb kohale. We saw that when Jesus shows up he has a purpose. Me nägime seda kui Jeesus ta tuleb kohale siis ta on eesmärk. He doesn't just show up just cause. Ta ei tule kohale lihtsalt et tuleb. You know it's not like some people come to church just cause. Et kui mõne nagu mõned inimesed tulevad kogudusse lihtsalt et tulevad. Yeah. Pärast. yeah, but but Jesus shows up with purpose. Aga Jeesus, kui ta tuleb kohale, siis ta tuleb eesmärgiga. And we saw last week part of what that purpose ja is. Ja me nägime eelme nädal seda, et osa, mis sellest eesmärgist that on. That he is looking for somebody that he can use. Et ta otsib kedagi, keda tema saaks kasutada. He's looking for somebody that he can reveal himself to. Ta otsib kedagi, kellele tema saab ennast ilmutada. And that he can use to, to, to complete the call and the work of the kingdom of God. Ja et ta saab lõpule viia Jumala selle Jumala kuningriigi tahte so, so that we would go out and we would win more people. Et me läheksime välja ja võidaksime rohkem inimesi temale. That we we would we would tell people about Jesus et before it's too late. Meie räägiks nii inimestele Jeesusest enne kui see on liiga hilja nende jaoks. And that they too can have this relationship and find what it is to serve a living God. Ja et ka neil saaks olla see elav suhe Jumalaga ja et nad võiksid kogeda seda, mis on elade koos temaga ja teenida teda. But for today I want to look at when Jesus comes, who he is to us. Aga täna ma tahan, et me vaataksime seda, et kui Jeesus, kui ta tuleb, siis kes ta on meie jaoks? Who is Jesus to us? Kes on Jeesus meie jaoks? The Bible says that we are his and he is ours. Ja Bible ütleb seda, et me oleme tema omad ja te, tema on meie. The Bible oma. says that he can be our friend. Ja Bible ütleb seda, et ta saab olla meie sõber. And if this is who he is to us, I want us to be encouraged and I want us to have a knowledge of what it is that he he, he can be. Ja kui tema on seda meie jaoks, ma tahan, et me teaksime ja siis me võiksime ka kogeda seda et ta siis saaks ole meie jaoks see kes ta tahab olla meie jaoks. What does he want from you? Mis on see mida tema tahab sinust? What can he be to you? Mida kes ta saab olla sinu jaoks? And this is what he, what we're going to look at today ja. as we take this time together. Ja see on see mida me täna koos vaatame kui me võtame aja selle jaoks. But the Lord can be to you today whatever it is that you need him Aga to be. Aga isen saab täna olla sinu jaoks see keda sina iganes vajad teda olevat. But one of the big things that he is is a friend. Aga üks suur asi mis te, kes ta on on see et ta on sõber. A friend. Sõber. 
the Lord God, Almighty Creator, Isand Jumal, kõik võimas looja, can be your friend. Tema saab olla sinu sõber. So what is a friend? Kes on sõber? Well, the dictionary, I looked it up in the English dictionary. Ja sõnaraamat, siis ma vaatasin sinna inglise keele sõnaraamatusse. Says it's a person who you know well and like. Seal ütleb seda, et see on isik, keda sa tunned hästi ja kes sulle meeldib. How many you know there's some people you get to know well and you don't like? Ja kui valud tead seda, et on inimesi, keda sa saad niimoodi hästi tunnma, sa tead temast palju, aga ta ei meeldi sulle enam. You know, I, 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 that... I've got to know some people and I dislike them. Et mul on nii, et ma õpin tundma mõndasid inimesi ja siis nad mulle ei meeldi. Don't worry, it's not you. Ära muret, see ei ole sina. I like you, all right. Et sina mulle küll meeldid, jah. But there's some people we get to know and we don't like. Aga mõned inimesed on sellised, keda me õpime tundma ja siis nad ei meeldi meil enam. But a friend is somebody that you get to know and you like them. Aga sõber on keegi, keda sina õpid tundma ja ta meeldib sulle. It's one that we can have intimate, that we can have intimate and close Uh, uh, it's not an enemy or somebody who is against us. A friend is an ally or a comrade. A, a reliable supporter. Keegi, keda sa või, kes siis usaldavalt toetab sinda. Somebody who, who is helpful. Keegi, kes on abivalmis. Somebody who will sympathize with you. Ja keegi, kes on sümpaatne sinu suhtes. Somebody that you enjoy spending time with. Keegi, kes naudib aja veetmis koos sinuga. And a friend is someone you can trust. Ja sõber on keegi, keda sina saad usaldada. That's what the dictionary says that a friend is. Ja see on see, mida ütleb sõna raamat, kes on sõber. And so... This is what the Lord can be to us today. Ja, see on see, keda Issand täna saab meile olla. Because the Bible says that Jesus wants to be your friend. Kuna Piibel ütleb, et Jeesus tahab olla sinu sõber. He's already picked you. Et ta on juba sind valinud. He said, I want to be your friend. Ja ütleb, ma tahan olla sinu sõber. But how many of you know a friendship goes two ways? Kui vaatis tead seda, et sõprus suhe on kahe suunaline. I could really like you and want to be your friend, but if you don't like me back, then... There's not much of a friendship. Ta võid mulle väga meeldida ja su mulle väga meel... Siis, aga kui siin, mina sulle ei meeldi ja mingit suhtlemist ei ole, siis sõprus suhet ei ole. If you don't like me back, et kui, sina ka, kui mina ka sulle ei meeldi, that's not a friendship. siis see ei ole sõprus suhe. How many liked somebody before and they didn't like you back? Kui palju teg on olnud nii, et... et et keegi meeldib sulle, aga sina talle ei meeldinud. Right? I mean, I, I always wanted to be with the cool people. Et mina tahtsin alati olla koos lahedate inimestega. When I'm in school, I, I wanted to sit and eat lunch with the cool kids. Kui ma olin koolis, ja siis ma tahtsin seal lõuna, aja, lõuna sööge ajal istuda ja süüa lõunalt koos nende lahedate lastega. But there were some of the cool kids that didn't like me back. I liked them. Aga seal oli mõned sellised lahedad lapsed, kes mulle meeldisid, aga mina neil ei meeldinud. And so you feel left out. Ja siis sa tunned, et siin on nagu välja jäätud. It's not a friendship. Et see ei ole sõprus. You can't say that's my friend. Sa ei saa öelda seda, et tema on minu sõber. Jesus said, I want to be your friend. Jeesus ütleb seda, et mina tahan olla sinu sõber. And this is what's going to be amazing today as we look at this. Ja see on see, mis saab olema väga imeline, mida me täna hakkame vaatama. Not just God. Et mitte lihtsalt Jumal. And Savior. Ja päästja. He is that. Et ta on kõike seda. But he said, I want to be your friend. Aga ta ütleb, et ma tahan olla sinu sõber. I want to have intimate relationship with you. Ma tahan sinuga intiimselt lähedas suhet. I want to be somebody you can trust. Ma tahan olla keegi, keda sina saad usaldada. I want to be one that, that will, will stand by you no matter what you go through in life. Ma tahan olla keegi, kes seisab sinu kõrval vahet ei ole, mille sina oma elus läbi läheda. And listen to me, as, as, as I'm saying this... Uh, If you don't have that relationship, ja kuule mind, kui ma nüüd seda ütlen, kui sul ei ole seda sellist suhete, I feel so sorry for you. Siis mul on nii väga kahju sinu pärast. You are missing so much in life. Sul jääb nii palju puudu siin eluse. If you do not have this friendship with Jesus Christ, kui sul ei ole seda sõprus suhet Jeesuse Kristusega, and just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you have a friendship. Ja kui sa oled kristlane, see ei tähenda, et sa automaatselt oled ka sõprus suhtes Jeesusega. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your friend, kui sina ei tunne Jeesus Kristus kui oma sõpra, you are missing so much in life. Siis sina jääd ilma nii palju siin eluse. There's a big part of your life that has a gaping hole siis on selline väga suur osa sinu elust, kus kohas on selline väga suur auke, eraldav auke, mida ainult tema saab täita. Ja mida ma tahan teha on see, et ma tahan julgustada sinna, et otsida seda suhet Jeesuse Kristusega. Igal ühe, iga üks meist võib suhelda Jeesusega. Et kui me võtame selle sammu üle sellest usujoonest, 
and say God I believe ja ütleme seda et jumal mina usun Jesus I believe Jesus mina usun and I believe what you said ja ma usun seda mida sina ütled and we're going to talk we're going to talk about this today we're going to see what he said ja me täna räägime sellest me vaatame seda mida Jeesus ütles we could take this message and this message today can change your life me saame siis me vaatame seda sõnumit ja me saame võtta selle sõnumi ja see saab muuta sinu elu listen to how the bible describes how god sees you ja vaata kuidas piibel kirjeldab seda kuidas jumal sin näeb go with me to psalms 139 ja palune lähme siis koos minuga laul 139 psalms 139 and we're going to read several verses here through this chapter laul 139 ja loeme siin peadükis mitu salmi but it starts off with verse 1 here it says oh lord you have examined my heart and know everything ja alustame esimeses salmis taati laul issand suurid mind läbi ja tunned mind So you you examine my heart and you know everything about me. Isand sa uurid mind läbi ja tunned mind. You know when I sit down and when I stand up, you know my thoughts even when I'm far away. Sina tead millal ma maha istun ja millal ma tõusen ja sa mõistad kaugelt ära mu mõtteda. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home, you know everything that I do. Sa mõõdad ära mu käimise ja mu pikali olemise ja kõik mu teed on sulle tuttavad. You even know what I'm going to say before I even say it, Lord. Sina ei ole veel mu keelel, kui en näe, sina issand, tead selle kõik ära. You go before me and you follow me. You place your hand of blessing upon my head. Tagant ees, sa ümbritsed mind ja paned oma pihu mu peale. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to even understand. See tunmine on minule imeline, see on liiga kõrge, et saaksin sellest jagu. And so he's saying, I know this is who you are and I know this is what you do. Nii et ütle, et ma tean, et sina oled see ja see on see, mida sina teed. But even knowing this, I don't understand it. Aga isegi siis kõike seda teades, ma ei saa aru selles, mu mõistus ei suuda sellest jagu saada. You know, Freddy can go before me or Freddy can follow me, but he can't do both at the et same time. Et Freddy võib minna mu ees, Freddy võib mulle järgneda, aga ta ei saa teha seda mõlemat korraga. God can do both. Et Jumal saab teha seda mõlemat. God goes before you and prepares the way and he follows you and makes sure that you're going in the right way. Et Jumal läheb sinu eest, ta valmistab sulle tee ja siis ta käib ka sinu järel, et, et teha kindlaks, et sa siis ikkagi lähed õiget teeda. In verse 7 he says and I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. Ja Salmis 7 ütleb, kuhu ma võiksin minna su vaimu eest ja kuhu ma põgeneksin su palge eest. David is saying you're so amazing. I can't get away from you. Ja David ütleb, et sa oled nii imeline. Ma, ma ei saa minna ära sinu And this is all good, but just for time, I want to skip down to verse 14. Ja see kõik on hea, aga aja kokku hüü mõttes, ma üppan edasi praegu salmi 14. He keeps saying in 14, he says, Thank you for making me so wonderful and so complex, and your workmanship is marvelous, and how I know it well. Ja salmist 14 ta ütleb edasi, ma tänan sind, et olen nii kardetavalt imeliselt loodud, imelised on sinu teod, seda tunneb mu hing hästi. You washed me as I was being formed under seclusion, when I was woven together in the darkness of the womb. Mu luud ei olnud varjul sinu ees, kui mind salajas loodi, kui mind maa sügavuses imeliseks kooti. You saw me before I was born, and every day of my life was recorded in your book, and every moment was laid out before a single day had even passed. Su silmad nägid mind ja juba mu eos, ja su raamatuse kirjutati kõik päevad, mis olid määratud ehk küll üht ainuski neist ei olnud olemas. David had revelation here. He is writing prophetically. Ja Taavetil siin oli ilmutus, ta kirjutab profetlikult. He's writing about how amazing our God is and how God sees us. Ta kirjutab selles, kui imeline on meie Jumal ja kuidas tema näeb meid. And he said, God, you are so far out of time. Ja ta ütleb seda, et Jumal, et sina oled nii ajast ees. That you look into time and you see my beginning and you see my end as if it was the same time. Nii et ajast eemalt, sina näed kõike seda, sa näed seda algus, sa näed seda lõppu, nagu see kõik on juba olemas. God sees every decision you're going to make. Ja Jumal ta näeb igalt otsus, mida sina saad tegema. God doesn't make the decisions for you. Et Jumal ei tee otsuseid valikut sinu eest. But he sees the decisions that you make in your life. Aga ta näeb neid otsuseid, mida sina teed enda elus. David said you already know everything. Ja Bibel ja Taavet ütleb, et Jumal sina juba tead kõike. In verse 17 he says how precious are your thoughts about me, O God? They cannot even be numbered. Ja Salmi 17 ütleb, et kui kallid on mulle sinu mõtted, oh Jumal, kui väga suur on nende arv. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of the sand and when I wake up, you are still with me. Kui ma hakkaksin neid ära lugema, oleks neid ja rohkem kui liiva, kui märkan, olen ma alles sinu juures. So David is saying, 
God knows everything about you. Ja Taavet ütleb seda, et Jumal teab kõike sinu kohta. He knows your thoughts, he knows your decisions, he knows what you're going to do before you do it. Ta teab su mõtet, ta teab su otsuset, ta teab mida sina saad tegema enne kui sina seda teed. And God wants so much for you to to have experienced greatness in your life. Ja Jumal tahab nii palju seda, et sa kogeksid suurust enda eluse. It says that he's thinking good things. Ta ütleb seda, et tema mõtleb häid asju. He's desiring good things for your life. Ta igatseb häid asju sinu elu jaoks. David says and you know all this about me and you know how screwed up I am. Ja ta ütleb et Jumal sina tead kõike seda minu kohta. Sina tead seda et kui väga kraavi ma enda elus olen ka jooksnud. And he said and I wake up and you're still here. Ja ta ütleb seda et Jumal ma arkan üles ja sa ikka oled siin. You still love me. Sa ikkagi armastad mind. You still want to be with me. Sa ikkagi tahad olla koos minuga. You still want to help me. Sa ikka tahad mind aidata. Even though you know, kuigi sina tunned mind. You know the plans I have in my heart and you're still here. Sa tead neid plaane, mis on minu südames, sa, sa ikka oled siin. Is it is it even possible for anyone to know you any better than this? Et kas on võimalik, et keegi sind üldse tunneb rohkem paremini kui nii? Absolutely not. Absoluutselt mitte. Now sometimes I might know what you're going to say before you say it. Ja mõnikord ma võin teada seda mida sina ütled enne kui sa ütleda. You know if you get to know somebody you can know what they're going to say before they'll say it. Et kui sa õpid tundma mõnda inimest siis sa tead mida keegi ütleb enne kui ta seda välja ütleb. But I don't know your thoughts. Aga ma ei tea su mõtteid. And I don't know everything you're going to say. Ja ma ei tea kõike mida sina saad ütlema. The Bible says God knows all there is to know about you. Aga Bible ütleb et et ta teab kõike mida üldse on sinu kohta teada. And he's still here. Ja ta ikka on siin. Jesus knows everything to know. Jeesus teab kõike mida on teada. And he still wants to be close to you. Ja ta ikka kii tahab olla sinu lähedale. He still chooses you. Ta ikka kii valib sinde. You might look at yourself in the mirror and you would think I don't even choose me. Ja sa võid vaadata peeglisse endale otsa ja sa võid mõelda seda et ise, ma isegi ei valiks ennast. Why would you want to choose? Mille pärast sina tahaksid valida mind? God says I choose you. Jumal ütleb, et ma valin sinde. I choose you. Mina valin sinde. I'll take you and make you something special if you'll choose me back. Ma võtan ja teen sinus midagi erilist kui sina ka valid minde. I want to be your friend. Ma tahan olla sinu sõber. And so God's asking you this morning, do you want to be mine? Nii et Jumal täna hommikul küsib sinu käes, kas sina tahad olla minu sõber? Do you want to be my friend? Kas sina tahad olla minu sõber? Can we can we live this life together? Kas me koos võime elada, kas me võime seda elu elada koos? Can we do something that will be great? Kas me võime teha midagi suurt ja võimast? Do you want to know me like I know you? Kas sina tahad tunda mind nii nagu mina God likes you. Et sina meeldid Jumalale. He desires a relationship with ja you. Ja ta igatseb suhet sinuga. No matter what you've done, he loves you. Vahet ei ole mida sa oled teinud, tema ikka armastab sinde. And so we know that after Jesus died and he rose again, the Bible says he went to heaven. Ja me teame seda, et Jeesus kui ta suri ja maati maha, siis ta tõusis jälle suurnust üles. But we know that when he left, he didn't leave us alone. Ja me teame seda, et kui ta läks ära siit maa pealt, siis ta jätub meid üksinda. We know that 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 uh, he sent his Holy Spirit who will be with us me forever. Me teame seda, et ta läkitas oma püha vaimu, kes on meiega koos igavesti. He, he left somebody who lives on the inside of us. Ta saatis kellegi, kes elab meie sees. When we put our faith in Jesus, kui me paneme oma usu Jeesusesse, he comes in and he dwells in us. Siis ta tuleb meie sisse ja ta elab meie sees. The Bible says that he'll even come and help us. Ja Bible räägib seda, et ta isegi tuleb ja aitab meid. And so to be as a born again believer, the spirit of God inside of you. Nii et kui sina oled uuesti sündinud kristlane usklik, siis Jumala vaim elab sinu gives you access to Jesus. Me see see annab sulle ligi pääsu Jeesuse juurde. And gives Jesus access into your life. Ja annab ei Jeesusele ligi pääsu sinu elule. How many need more access? Kui vaata teist vajada rohkem seda ligi pääsu. I want more access to my God. Mina tahan rohkem ligi pääsu oma Jumala juurde. I want to live my life in a way that I'm aware that he's here. Mina tahan elada enda elu nii et ma olen teadlik sellest et ta on siin. That I'm aware that he chooses me. Et ma olen teadlik sellest et tema valib minu. That he wants to use me. Et tema tahab mind kasutada. Man, I want to live my life with an understanding and an awareness that Jesus is my friend. Mina tahan elada enda elu selle aru saamise ja teadmisega sellest, et Jeesus on koos minuga, et ta on minu sõber. And this, you know, when you find somebody like this. Kui sina leiad kellegi sellise. Someone who loves you so very much. Kellegi, kes armastab sinu nii väga palju. Somebody who you know that you are safe with no matter what. Kellega sa tead, et, et sa oled turvaliselt, vahet ei ole, kellega koos sa oled turvaliselt, vahet ei ole, mis toimub. That when you're in their presence, it doesn't matter what you say. Et kui sina oled koos nendega, siis vahet ei ole, mida sina ütled. They love you and support you. Et nemad armastavad sind ja nad toetavad sinde. No matter what you say. Ei vahet ei ole mida sina ütleda. 
they'll encourage you to do more. No, ta julgustavad sind tegema enamate. And if you're wrong, they'll, they'll, they'll try to help you. Ja kui sa eksida, sa oled vales, siis nad proovivad sind aidata. And when you write, they'll, they'll be your cheerleader. Ja kui sa su kõik asjad on sulle õigasti, siis need, nemad on need, kes julgustavad sind takka. And they'll never judge you or never turn away from you. Nad ei mõista kunagi kohut sinu üle, ka nad kunagi ei pöördu ära sinuste. Because they, they will put you ahead of themselves. Kuna nad panevad sind enda ette, endast ette poole. How many you know, that is very rare to find somebody like that. Ja kui valt teist tead, seda, et elus on väga haruldane leida sellist inimeste. If you find somebody like that, if you have a friend like that, you better hold on to them and never let them go. Ja, kui sul on selline sõber, siis sina parem hoia temas kinni ära lase ta lahti. Oh, how sweet Freddie grabbed his wife. Ja, väga armas Freddie aaras oma naisel käes kinni. That's awesome. See on suure pärane. All right, but when you have a friend like that. Aga kui sul on selline sõber. When you know that there is somebody that will always be there for you. Kui sina tead, et on keegi, kes on alati koos sinuga. Hold on to them. Siis sina hoia kinni temast. And now we have Jesus. Ja, meil on Jeesuse. Better than our best, best friend. Parem kui meie kõige parem sõbere. And you might think, well, no, nobody could be better than my friend. Sa võid mõelda, ei, ei, mitte keegi saa olla parem kui minu sõbere. He is. Tema on. Jeesus on. He has more good thoughts about you than anybody else. Ta on rohkem häid mõtteid sinu kohta kui kellelgi teisel. He desires for you to live a better life than anybody else Ta does. Ta igatseb, et sa oleksid paremat elu kui keegi teine. He's got better plans for you than anybody else could help you to accomplish. Ja tula, tal on paremad plaanid sinu jaoks kui keegi teine võib aidata sul saavutada. He wants to be your friend. Tema tahab olla sinu sõber. He wants to be your lord. Ta tahab olla sinu isand. But he wants that special relationship with just you. Aga ta tahab seda erilist suhete just sinuga. And and when we have that ja kui meil on see man hold on to that siis ja hoia kinni sellest hold on to the friendships we have with people that we truly love oh hoia kinni nendest suhetest inimestega sõpros suhetest kellega meil on need tõelised suhted but i'm here to tell you today that you can have a friendship with jesus aga mõtlen sulle seda et sul saab olla sõpros suhe jeesusega that goes beyond anything else mis on üle kõiges muust that you can know that he loves you. Et sa võid teada seda, et tema armastab sind. The Bible says in John 15 ja, verse 13. Ja Bibel ütleb Johannesi 15 salmis 13. Says there is no greater love than to lay one's life down for a friend. Ei ole olemas suuremat armastus kui see, et keegi annab oma elu sõprade eest. You are my friend and if you do if you do what I command. Te ei olete mu sõbrad, kui te teete seda, mida ma ütlen. And I no longer call you slaves and servants because a master does not confide in his slaves. No, I call you friends since I have told you everything that the Father has told me. Ma ei nimeta teid enam orjadeks, sest orja ei tea, mida ta isalt teeb. Teid ole ma nimetanud sõpradeks, sest teile ole ma annud teada kõik, mida ma olen kuulnud oma isalt. So Jesus says, you're my Need Jeesus ütleb seda, et sina oled minu sõber. You can be friends of the Lord. Et sina saad olla sõber issandaga. You can be friends of the Lord. Sina saad olla issanda sõber. And now listen, he says you're no longer a servant. Ja kuule seda, et ütleb, et sa enam ei ole ori, ingliskeene tõlge ütleb teenija. You're no longer just a servant. Et sa ei ole enam lihtsalt teenija. But you're a friend. Aga sina oled sõber. But I'm telling you, it is great to be a servant of God. Aga mõtlen sulle seda, et väga hea on olla issanda teenija. There there there's some servants of God in the Bible that that you know they were not ashamed of that title. Biblis on issanda teenijaid, kes ei häbenenud seda tiitlit. The Bible says that Moses was a servant of God. Biibel räägib sellest, et Mooses oli Jumala teenija. The Bible says that David was a servant of God. Biibel räägib sellest, et Daavid oli Jumala teenija. The Bible says that Joshua was a servant of God. Biibel räägib sellest, et Joosua oli Jumala teenija. There are some great people in the Bible who had a relationship of servant master. Ja Biibel on väga vaid inimesi, kellel oli suhe siis teenija suhe kõik võimsa issandaga. Jesus said that's cool. Jeesus ütleb, et see on väga hea. But I've got something even better for you. Aga ta ütleb, et mul on midagi veel paremat sinu jaoks. You're not going to just be a servant, you're going to be a et sa ei saa olema lihtsalt teenija, vaid sina saad olema sõber. Not just, I'm not just going to be your master. Et ma ei ole lihtsalt sinu issanda. I'm going to be your friend vaid too. Vaid mina olen ka sinu sõber. I'm going to be the one who is there for you no matter what. Mina olen see, kes on sinuga koos, vahet ei ole, mis juhtub. And this is an amazing offer that he gives to us. Ja see on väga imeline pakkumine, mis tema meile annab. He's calling us to be in partnership with him. Ta kutsub seda, et me oleksime partnerid temaga. He said, okay, I'm going to be your friend, now let's go get this done. Ja ta ütleb seda, et ma olen sinu sõber ja nüüd läheme, teeme selle asja ära. Let's 
do this together. And we have a choice that is laid out before us. You have a choice before you today. So my question is, do you accept him? Ja, minu küsimus on see, kas sina võtad tema vastu? Do you accept him as your friend? Kas sina võtad tema vastu kui oma sõbra? Will you let him be to you the most important person in your life? Kas sina lased tal olla kõige tähtsam isike sinu eluse? And so this is what we, we have to choose ja, daily. Ja, see on see, mida, mille vahel me, mida me siis peame valima igapäevaselt. Jesus said, I'll be a friend to anybody who will follow me. Ja, Jeesus ütleb seda, et ma olen sõber igal ühele, kes järgneb minule. I'll be a friend to anybody who will, will obey. Et mina olen sõber igal ühele, kes kuuletub. And Anybody who wants me, I'm there. Iga üks, kes tahab mind, mina olen seal tema jaoks. So we see he's already chosen all of us. Nii et me näeme seda, et tema juba on valinud igat ühte meiste. He's chosen everybody that lives on this planet. Ta on valinud iga ühe, kes elab siin selle planeedile. Because he loves us more than we even realize. Kuna ta armastab meid rohkem, kui me üldse suudame mõelda. The question is, do we choose him? Küsimus on selles, kas meie valime tema? Will we complete the circle of friendship? Kas meie siis viime lõpule selle sõprus selle suhte? Will we allow him to be in our lives? Kas meie laseme tal olla meie eludes? And so, so Jesus, uh, you know, he... he He was he was so special when he was here. Ja Jeesus ta oli nii väga eriline kui ta oli siin. Jesus went after people that that religious people had rejected. Ja Jeesus ta läks nende inimeste järgi keda siis religioossed inimesed olid törjunud. Jesus was friends with sinners. Ja Jeesus oli patuste sõber. And tax collectors. Maksu kogujate sõber. And tax collector was somebody that just cheated people all the time. Ja maksu koguja oli keegi kes kogu aeg nad petsid inimesi. Not saying maksu amat cheats people but tax collectors. Maksu koguja. Yeah. All right. Tax collectors. Maksu kogu, ja. <laughs> And so so Jesus was was open to whoever wanted to have relationship with him. Jeesus oli avatud igal ühele, kes tahtis suhet temaga. He was not going to limit who he could connect to. Ja ta ei pannud mingit sellist nagu kuskil mingisuguseid raame nüüd, kellega tema nüüd veedab aega, kellega mitte. Jesus said, I don't care who you are. Jeesus ütles, et mul vahet ei ole, kes sa oled. What you have done, mida sa oled teinud? I know if I come into your life, ma tean seda, kui mina tulen sinu elu. If you let me in, I will help to change you for the better. Kui sina aseb mind sisse, siis ma aitan sind, et sa saaksid olla parem. And so I don't care about your past, I just want to know, do you want to be my friend? Nii, et mind ei huvita sinu minevik, mind huvitab see, et kas sina tahad olla minu sõber. And then we just need to respond to that. Ja siis me peame vastama sellele. And here these religious people, They responded as no no you are not worthy to be around us. Ja seal need religioossed inimesed olid nii ei ei sina ei ole väärt seda et olla koos meiega. And Jesus said okay well I'll go to whoever will accept me. Ja Jeesus ütles et mina lähen nende inimeste juurde kes tahavad mind vastu võtta. I'll go to the people who want Mina, mina lähen nende juurde, kes tahavad mind enda ellu. And so, so he, he didn't want to have any limits to who could connect with him. Nii et ta ei tahnud panna mingeid suguseid piirangud peale, kes nüüd võivad temaga saada ühendust. And my point in this is if Jesus would go after tax collectors and if Jesus would go after sinners to be their friend. Ja nüüd see minu see mõte on selles, et kui nüüd Jeesus ta oli valmis minema nende maksukogujate juurde, minema patust inimeste juurde, et nad saaksid olla tema sõbrad. If Jesus wanted to be their friend, he will come after you to be your friend. Et kui Jeesus Jeesus tahtis olla nende sõber, siis Jeesus tuleb ka sinu järgi, et ta saaks olla sinu sõber. He wants to have a close friendship with you. Ta tahab sinuga läheda sõprus suhet. He wants you to have a close friendship with him. Ta tahab seda, et sul oleks temaga lähedane sõprus suhet. This is not a one-way relationship, a one-way friendship. See ei ole selline ühe suunaline suhe, ühe suunaline sõpruse. How many of you have those one ways before? Kui palju teil teil enne on olnud sellised ühe suunalisi suhteid? Right, it's all about what you can do for them, not what they do for you. Et asja on olnud selles, et ainult selles, mida sina saad teha nende jaoks, mitte see, mida nemad saad teha sinu jaoks. I'll be friends with them because they got a cool car and I'd rather ride in that car than, you know, in the Mosvich. Ma olen nendega hea sõber, kuna neil on hea auto, et ma tahan sõita selle autoga, et ma parem olen tema sõber kui sellega kelle kes sõidab selle Moskvitsiga. You know they 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 they're a little bit richer than this person so I'd rather be with them than with them. Et nemad on natuke rikkamad kui see inimene nii et ma olen parem koos nendega kui nendega. You know they're cooler. Et nad on lahedamad. They're a better dancer. Et nad on parem tantsijad. You know so we we pick our friends because that person's better than that one so I'll, I'll over here. Me valime oma sõprusi et et vot et see inimene on parem ja siis mina olen nendega. And so Jesus he is not just picking who's better. Net Jeesus ta lihtsalt vali seda kes on parem. He picks you. Tema valib sind. Just the way you are. Lihtsalt sellisena nagu sina oled. With all of your faults and all of your failures. Kõikide sinu vigadega, kõikide sinu läbi kukkumistega. He says, "Man, I'd love to be your friend." Ja ta ütleb, et ma nii väga tahaksin olla sinu sõber. I'd be your best friend. Ma tahan olla sinu parim sõber. Do you want to be mine? Eh kas sina tahad olla minu sõber? Do you want to be mine? Kas sa tahad olla minu sõber? 
you want to be mine? Kas sa tahad olla minu sõber? You've got to take that step of faith and say, Jesus, let's be friends. Sina pead võtma selle usu sammu ja ütlema seda, et Jeesus, oleme sõbrad. I accept your invitation this morning. Mina täna hommikul võtan vastu sinu kutse. That from this day forward, we have a friendship, not just a, a lordship thing going on. Et alates tänases päevast mul on sõprus suhe sinuga, mitte ainult see issanda teeni ja suhe. And so, so he, he wanted to have a close friendship with us. Nii et ta tahab läheda sõprud suhet neiega. And so he said I, I want you to come after me. Nii et ta ütleb seda, et ma tahan seda, et sa tuleksid minu järgi. Because I've already come after et you. Et kuna mina olen juba tulnud sinu järgi. I've already shown up and et I've already paid this this the, for this relationship. Ma juba olen tulnud kohale ja ma juba olen maksnud hinna selle suhte pärast. And we you know we we think sometimes that Jesus should pick somebody else because they're better friend than I could ever be. Ja mõnikord me mõtleme seda, et Jeesus peaks valima kellegi teise, kuna nad saad olla paremad sõbrad kui mina. You might be sitting there thinking, well, pastor, of course, is a better friend than I could ever be. Ja sa võid mõelda seal seda, et jah, loomulikult pastor on Jeesus jaoks parem sõber kui mina kunagi saan olla. That's, that's not how, how it is. Ei, asjad ei ole nii. That's not how it is. He's not asjad picking who is nii. the best person. Et ta ei vali nüüd sind selle pärast, et sa oled nüüd kõige parem inimene. He's not picking the one who has the most to offer. Et ta ei vali seda, kellel on kõige rohkem talle pakkuda. He has more to offer than anybody that you will ever meet. Tal on rohkem pakkud kui kellelgi üldse keda kellega sina kunagi kohtuda. And he says I pick you to be my friend. Ja ta ütleb seda, et ma olen valinud, et sina oleksid minu sõber. And if you start hanging with me, you're ja. going to start seeing life so different. Ja kui sina hakkad veetma aega koos minuga, siis hakkad nägema seda elu nii teist moodi. And I'm going to help you to become a better person. Ja mina aitan sul saada paremaks inimeseks isikuks. Because we're friends. Kuna me oleme sõbrad. It's going to be a natural progress in our relationship. Ja, see saab olema loomulik protsess meie suhtes. You know, some people I I I I have a dear friend of mine who says, you know, I'm not ready to be a Christian. Yet. Ja, mul on keegi, kes on selline kallis sõber minu jaoks, aga ta ütleb seda, et, et ma veel ei ole valmis et olla kristlane. And I ask him, I said, what do you mean you're not ready? Ja, ma küsisin tema käes küsin, et, et mis mõttes sa ei ole valmis? He said, well, I believe in God, but I don't want to have to, you know, obey all the rules. Ja, ta ütles, et ma usun Jumalasse, aga ma ei taha kuuletuda kõikidele reeglitele. You know, I, I enjoy my life and I don't want to have to have a bunch of rules to live by. Et ma naudin oma elu ja ma ei taha seda, et mul oleks suur hulk igasuuseid seadusi käske, mida mina pean järgima. So I'm not ready to become a Christian. Nii, mina ei ole valmis, et saada kristlaseks. Him, well, ja siis ma küsisin, aga millal sa saad olema valmis? Ja siis ma ei tea. Ma ei tea. My heart breaks. Ja see nagu murrab minu südame. Because he thinks that Jesus is going to come in and make him do things he doesn't want to do. Kuna ta arvab seda, et Jeesus tuleb sisse ja sunnib teda tegema asju, mida ta ise ei taha teha. Or Jesus is going to come in and tell him to, to uh, not do things that, that he wants to do. Või Jeesus tuleb sisse ja ütleb, et ta ei teeks asju, mida ta tahab teha. That's not how it works. Ei, asjad ei käi nii. It's a relationship. Vaide, see on suhe. It, and, and he comes in and he begins to change you from the inside out. Ta tuleb ja ta hakkab muutma sind sees poolt välja poole. And you're, he's not going to make you do nothing. Et ta ei sunni sind tegema mitte kui midagi. He didn't make me come to church today. Et ta ei sundinud mind täna hommikul tulema koguduse koos. I woke up and wanted to come to church ma today. Ma härkasin hommikul üles ja ma tahtsin siia tulla. He didn't make me study this message. I I chose to study this message. Ta ei sundinud mind õppima selleks sõnu, seda sõnumit, et edasi anda, vaid ma tahtsin seda õppida. God didn't make you come to church today. Jumal ei sundinud sind täna tulema siia. You might say, well, my wife did, but God didn't. Sa võid öelda seda, et mu naine sundis, aga Jumal ei sundinud. You know, God doesn't force you to do anything. Et Jumal ei sunni sind jõuga tegema mitte kui midagi. Amen. Amen. But when he is with you, aga kui ta on koos sinuga, and you're with him, ja sina oled koos temaga, and you have this friendship going, ja teil on see sõprus suhe ja käimas, you're going to want to live in a different way. Siis sa tahad elada teist moodi. How many know there's some people you're with, and when you're with them, you're different? Ja kui vaad tead seda, et mõned inimesed on sellised, et kui sina oled koos nendega, siis sa käitub teist moodi, sa tahad olla teist moodi. And then when you're with some other people, you're really different. Ja kui sa oled nende teiste inimestega, siis sa oled ikka täiesti teist moodi. Right? When you're at the people with at work, you act one way. When you're at people at the church, you act another way. Kui sina oled inimestega koos oma töö juures, siis sa käitud seal ühte moodi. Kui sa oled inimestega kogudusest koos, siis sa käitud teist moodi. Jesus is saying, Jeesus ütleb, let's hang out. Et veedame koos aega. I know everything you're going to do and say anyway. Ma nagu nii tean kõike, mida sa saad tegema, sa saad ütlema. Just let me come along with you for the day. Lasma lihtsalt tulla sinuga kaasa päevaks. I want to be with you. I want you to know that I'm here with you. I'm here to help. 
tahan, et sa teaksid seda, et ma olen siin koos sinuga, ma tahan siin taidata. Will you recognize me today? Will you desire my presence in your life? Kas sa tunne mind täna ära, kas sa tunnustad mind, kas sa tahad minu ligi olu enda ellu? If you will, ja kui sa tahad, I will come and I'll be with you and I'll make you better. Siis ma tulen ja ma olen koos sinuga ja ma teen sind paremaks. I'll make you better at church. Ma teen sind koguduses paremaks. And I'll make you better at work or school ja, or whatever it is that you ja do. Ja töö juures teen sind paremaks koolis või millega sa iganes tegeleda. And so he is here to be a support. Nii et ta on siin selleks, et, et siis toetada. And so yes, he is still Lord whom we serve gladly. Ja ta ikka on issand, keda me hea, rõõm, hea meelega rõõmuga teenime. But he is also our support and our rock Aga in a storm. Ta samuti on ka see, kes toetab meid, kes on meie kail and he is our cheerleader in the good day. Ja tema on see, kes elab meile kaasa meie healdel aegadele. And so God wants to be closer to you than anybody else in your life. Ja Jumal tahab olla sulle lähemal kui keegi teine sinu eluse. And God has the ability to be closer to you than anybody you Ja Jumal on see võime, et olla sulle lähemal kui keegi teine. All you have to do is call out to him. Et kõike, mida sul on vaja, on see, et hüüda tema poole. Because Jesus is here. Kuna Jeesus on siin. Jesus is here. Jesus on siin. Jesus is here. Jesus on siin. What is the cry of your heart? Et mis on sinu südame hüüe? Igatsus. Is it, well, I just want to ignore that guy because, you know, who wants to be his friend? Kas see, et tead, ma tahan seda meest ignoreerida, kuna kes nüüd temaga küll tahaks aega veeta? Or do you want to get to know him? Või sina tahad tunda teda? Do you want to get to know him? Kas sina tahad õppida tundma teda? And the Bible tells us, as we read for the offering, it's through our knowledge of him ja that he blesses our lives. Ja Biibel räägib sellest nii, nagu me lugesime ohvri anni ajal, et läbi tema tundmise meil saavad olla need imelised teotused ja tema õnnistus meie eluse. And so to know that he is here. Nii et see teadmine, et on siin. And to know that he wants to be your very best friend. See teadmine, et sa tead, et ta tahab olla su kõige parem sõber. That should be an amazing thought to you. See peaks olema selline imeline mõte sinu jaoks. To know how much he loves you. See, et sa tead, kui palju when you get into his presence, it will set you free. Et kui sa lähed tema ligiolu, siis see on midagi sellist, mis vabastab sinda. You'll stop worrying about all of the shows you have to put on for everybody else around you. Siis sa enam ei muretse nende asjade pärast, kus sa pead ennast nagu näitama kellegina, millegina, kui sa oled inimestega koos. Because how many know, sometimes our life just goes from one show to the next show to the next show. See pärast, kui paljud inimesed tead seda, et mõnikord on nii, et me elu läheb siis ühes sellises shows nagu järgmise juurde, kus me käit teeme ühte nagu ühes kohas, teises kohas, teist mõni. When I'm with them, I put on this mask. When I'm with them, I put on that one. Kui ma olen nendega koos, siis ma panen selle maski ette. Kui ma olen nendega koos, ma panen selle maski ette. Jesus said, just be real. Jeesus ütleb seda, et ole tõeline, ole sina ise. Just be worried about being my friend and not their friend. Et lihtsalt hooli sellest, et ole minu sõber, mitte nüüd, et nende sõber. But I guarantee if we start surrounding ourselves that are friends of Jesus and not just wanting to be friends of ours, Ja aga ma garanteerin sulle seda, et kui me hakkame ennast ümbritsema nende inimestega, kes on Jeesuse sõbrad, et mitte, mitte lihtsalt nendega, kes tahavad ole meie sõbrad, vaid need inimesed, kes tahavad panna Jeesus esi kohale, siis see mõjutab meid positiivsel moele. See teeb meie koguduse tugevamaks. Ma tahan seda, et siin koguduses oleksid inimesed, kes on Jeesuse sõbrad. Mitte need, kes tahavad olla minu sõbrad. Et ma ei saa iga ühe teed. There's not enough time in my day. Et mu päevas ei ole piisavalt aega. But I can be friends with Jesus. Aga ma saan olla sõber Jeesusega. So can you. Ja samuti ka sina. He has the time because he lives outside of time. Et tal on olemas see aeg, kuna tema elab ajaste välja poole. So he could be my best friend and your best friend and we're not in competition with each other. Nii et ta saab olla minu parim sõber, ta saab olla sinu parim sõber ja me ei võistle oma vahele. And so God wants to be your friend. Nii et Jumal tahab olla sinu sõber. And the power of his presence is going to change your life. Ja tema ligiolu vägi on see, mis muudab sinu elu. We should seek his presence. Meie peaksime otsima tema ligiolu. We should be driven by the presence of God. Meie peaksime olema siis liigutatud, takka aetud tema ligiolu poolt. Because it's in, in his presence that we find who we are. Selle pärast, et tema ligiolus meie leiame see selle, kes me oleme. It's in his presence that we find our purpose for life. Tema ligiolus meie leiame oma eesmärgi selle elu jaoks. It's the power and the presence of God that will change change your day. See on Jumala ligi olu vägi, mis muudab sinu päeva. It will change your future. See muudab sinu tuleviku. You can go from where you are. Sa võid minna seal paigas, kus sa oled. Filled with his presence. Tähedetud tema ligi oluga. And because of his presence and his love. Ja tänu tema ligi olule, tema armastusele. You can be something great in your life. Sa saad olla midagi vägevat oma elus. And as a friend, he will be there to encourage you. Ja tema kui sõbrad on seal selleks, et julgustada sinda. Strengthen you. Tugevdada sinda. Give you vision for your future. Anda sulle visioon su tuleviku jaoks. Surround you with people that will lift you up. Ja ümbritseb sinda. 
siin te inimestega, kes tõstavad sind üles. And show you the best way for your life. Et ta näidab ta parimat teed sinu elu jaoks. And then it's up to us to respond to what he gives us or to reject. Ja siis on meie valik, kas me vastame sellele, mida ta meile pakub või see eemale tõugata. But you will never know who you're called to be. Aga sa mitte kunagi ei saa teada, kelleks sina oled kutsutud. You will never know who you really are. Sa mitte kunagi ei saa teama, kes sa tõeliselt oled. Until you open up your life and say, I want to be a friend of Jesus. Enne kui sina avad oma elu ja sa ütled, et ma tahan olla Jeesuse sõbere. Church, Jesus is here. Kogudus, Jeesus on siin. He wants to be your friend. Ja, tema tahab olla sinu sõber. He wants to be the most important person in your life. Ta tahab olla kõige tähtsam isiks sinu eluse. The question is, will you accept the invitation? Küsimus on see, et kas sina võtad vastu selle kutse? Will you accept his invitation? Kas sina võtad tema kutse vastu? Because once we get into his presence. Sellepärast, kui meie saame tema ligi ollu. Once we, we accept him as, okay, I will, I will, I will be your friend. Kui meie võtame ta vastu ja kui me siis ütleme, et jah, Jeesus, ma olen sinu sõber. I don't know why you want to be my friend, but I'll be yours. Ma ei tea, mille pärast sina taad ole minu sõber, aga ma olen sinu sõber. And once we do that, kui meie teeme seda, he's going to open the eyes of our heart. Siis tema avab meie südame silmade. And he's going to help us to see what we could really do in our life. Siis ta avab meie südame silmade ja siis me oleme võimsed nägema, mida ta tahab, et me enda elus teeksime. The Bible says in Hosea 6:3. Ja Bible ütleb Hoosea 6:3. Says let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press in to acknowledge him. Tundkem siis, püüdkem tunda issanda, ta tuleb nagu ilus koidu puna, ta tuleb meile nagu vihm, otse kui kevadine vihm, mis nisutab maad. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear and he will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. But it says in the first part, let us acknowledge the Lord. Aga siis esimene osa ütleb seda, et tundkem siis, püüdkem tunda issanda. And press in to know him. Ja siis, et me pressiksime sisse, et tunda teda. Press in to know who he is. Press in as tema ligi ollu, et sa et sa tunneksid seda, kes tema on. So when he shows up, recognize him. Ja et kui ta tuleb, siis tunned ära. And then want to know him. Ja siis et taha tunda teda. Press in to his presence. Et pressi tema ligi ollu. Jesus is here to give us a purpose for life. Jeesus on siin selleks, et anda meile eesmärk siin eluse. And it's in our in his presence that we get to know him. Ja tema ligi olus meie saame teda tunma. It's in his presence that that we get to know what what he wants and what he is like. Tema ligi olus me saame teada seda, et mida ta tahab, mis tale meeldib. If I want to get to know you. Kui mina tahan tunda sind. I can't just read a book that somebody wrote about you. Siis ma ei saa lihtsalt lueda raamatut, mida keegi on kirjutanud sinu kohta. I need to spend time in your presence. Vaid ma pean veetma aega sinu ligiolus, sinuga koos. Just because I read a book about your life doesn't mean I know you. Lihtsalt, et ma luen raamatud sinu elu kohta, ei tähenda, et ma tunnen sinda. The Bible gives us information about Jesus. Ja Bible annab meil informatsiooni Jeesusi kohta. It helps us to understand who he is and what he's done. See aitab meil mõista seda, kes ta on ja mida ta on teinud. It opens up our heart and it opens up our life to so much more. See avab meil südam, see avab meil elu nii palju enamale. But knowing the Bible doesn't mean you just know him. Aga Bibli tunmine ei tähenda seda, et sina tunned teda. Because you need to take that information and go into his presence. Kuna sina pead võtma selle informatsiooni ja minema tema ligi olnud. And you need to have time in his presence to know him. Ja sul peab olema aeg tema ligi olus selleks, et sa tunneksid teda. There has never been a great man of God. Et ei ole kunagi olnud ühtegi sellist vägevat Jumala meeste. Who hasn't spent time in the presence of God. Kes poleks veetnud aega Jumala ligi oluse. Time in His presence. Et aeg tema ligi olus. So we begin to open up your heart and open up your mind. See on see, mis hakkab havama sinu südant, mis hakkab havama sinu meelt. His presence will lead you to your purpose in life. Ja tema ligi olu juhatab sind siis selles eesmärki, mis tal on sinu elu jaoks. And He is ours. Ja tema on meie. And He wants for us. To have friendship with us. Talo, tema on meie oma ja ta tahab omada seda sõprus suhet meiega. And so as, as, as we get to know him, ja, kui meie saame tunma teda, the Bible says then we can begin to introduce him to others. Siis Bible ütleb, siis meie saame hakata tutustama teda teistele. But if you don't know him, you're going to have a hard time trying to introduce him to somebody else. Aga kui sina ei tunne teda, siis sul on väga raske tutustada teda kellegile teisele. You know, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says this in the New Living. Esimene Peetus 2.9 New Living tõlkes ütleb seda. It says, but you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. Aga teie ei ole sellised, sest te olete valitud rahase. You are royal priests, a holy nation. Te olete kuninglikud preestrid, püha rahase. God's very own possession. Jumala enda omande. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God. Selle tulemusena te saate näidata teistele Jumala headuste. For he called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. Sest ta on kutsunud teid välja pimedusest oma imelisse valgusse. God chose you to be his possession. Jumal on valinud, et sina oleksid tema omande. 
Will you respond to that kas invitation? Sina vastad sellele kutsele. Will you say yes, I want to belong to you? Kas sina ütled seda, ja, mina tahan kuuluda sinule. And then knowing that it's because of his goodness. Ja see teadmine, see et te, selle tema headuse pärast. That we get to know him. Meie saame tunda teda. That we could share his goodness with others. Ja me saame jagada tema headust teistega. And so we we should want to, to, to have him in our life. Ja me peaksime tahtma seda, et on meie eluse. I want him in my life. Mina tahan teda enda ellu. I need him in my Mina life. Mina vajan teda enda ellu. I need to have communication and relationship daily. Mina vajan seda suhtlemist, kommunikeerimist temaga igapäevaselt. Do you crave that in your life? Kas sina janun, et kas sina igatsed seda enda eluse? I believe you do. Ja ma usun, et sa, et sa teed seda. I believe there's something in your heart that is saying, man, I want that. Ma usun seda, et miski sinu südamus ütleb, et mina tahan seda. And all you have to do is respond. Ja kõik, mida sul on vaja teha, sul on vaja vastata sellele. All you have to do is respond. Kõik, mida sul on vaja teha, sul on because vaja vastata sellele. Because we are his and he is ours. Kuna me ei oleme tema omade ja tema on meie oma. I like David as he poured out his heart to the Lord. Ja mulle väga meeldib see David, kui ta siin ta valab välja, avab oma südame issa teese. One thing he said in Psalms 31. Ja üks asi, mida ta ütles, laulus 31. He said, I trust you, Lord. Et isse, mina usaldan sind. And I say that you are my God. Ja ma ütlen seda, et sina oled minu Jumale. David didn't just look at God as creator. Ta avet ei vaadanud Jumala peal lihtsalt kui looja. Almighty. Kõik võimas. God. Jumale. He said, no, God. You are my God. Ei, ta ütles seda, Jumal, sina oled minu Jumal. You belong to me. Et sina kuulud mulle. I belong to you. Mina kuulun sinule. We have relationship. Meil on, meil on suhe. And David had a close and intimate friendship with the Lord. Ja Daavidil tal oli lähedane intiimne sõprus suhe issandega. It was a personal thing between David and God. Ja see oli isiklik asi Daavid ja Jumala vahele. He knew God and he served God. Ta tundis Jumalat ja ta teenis Jumalat. He lived with a with a with a, an understanding that God was with him every step that he took. Ta elas selle aru saamisega, et Jumal on temaga koos iga sammu, mida ta võtab, Jumal on seal. And now by the Holy Spirit. Ja nüüd püha vaimu läbi. We can have even a closer relationship than David. Me saab olla veel lähedasem sõprus suhe kui Daavidil oli. Because the Holy Spirit will reveal more of God to us than David could have ever seen. Kuna püha vaim ilutab meile veel rohkem Jumalat kui Daavid kunagi oli üldse võimeline nägema. And this is the gift that Jesus Christ has given to us. Ja see on see kingitus, mille Jeesus Kristus on meile annud. This is what 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 helps us to get in to his presence. Ja, see on see, mis aitab meile minna tema ligi ollu. And so David said this in 63. Ja, David ütles seda laulus 63. And in verse 1. Ja, esimeses salmist. It says, you, God, are my God. And earnestly I will seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water. Ja, eesti keelne tõlge on siis teises salmiste. Jumal, siin oled mu Jumal, siin ma otsin vara, sinu järele januleb mu hinge, siin tihaldab mu ihu, nagu kuival ja põuasel maal, kus pole vette. And I've seen you in the sanctuary and I beheld your power and your glory. Nõnda, ma vaatasin sind pühamus, et näha su väge ja su au hiilgust. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. Sest sinu heldus on parem kui elu, mu huuled ülistavad sind. And I will praise you as long as I live. Ja nõnda, ma tahan sind tänad oma elu aja. And in your name I will lift up my hands. Sinu nimel ma tõstan üles oma pihude. How many know this, this sounds like David really likes God? Ja kui palju teist tead seda, et see kõlab nii nagu Jumal väga meeldis Taavetile? David is like, man, you're amazing. Ja Taavet oli nii, et Jumal, sa oled nii mäline. You, you know, you, you're, you're all I long for. Et sa oled kõik see, mida mina igatsen. I want to be with you. Like, like, man, like if I was in a desert and I didn't have water, that's how much I want to be ja, with you. Ma tahan olla koos sinuga. See on nii, nagu ma oleksin keset kõrbe ja, ja, ja mulle ei ole seal vett ja ma tahan seda vett. Võt nii palju, Jumal, mina tahan sinda. David had this personal relationship with God. Ja taavetil tal oli see isiklik suhe Jumalaga. And he said, you, O oh Lord, are my God. Ja ta ütles seda, et te issand Jumal, sina oled minu Jumale. And he wanted time with God more than anything else. Ja ta tahtis seda aega koos Jumalaga rohkem kui midagi muud. And oh, how I wish more people in the church had this thirst and this hunger to be with God every day. Ja kui väga ma igatsen seda, et rohkem inimesi kogudus oleksid sellised, kes janunevad, kes igatsevad, kes on näljased Jumala ligi olu järgi igapäevaselt sellisel viisile. And when we desire his presence, it brings relationship. Ja kui me igatseme tema ligi olu, siis see on see, mis toob selle suhte. 
This is why Jesus has become our Lord. Ja selle pärast Jeesus on saanud meie issandaks. This is why he has paid a price for us. Ja selle pärast tema on maksnud hinna meie eest. So that we can get into his presence et, and know him. Et meie saakseme minna tema ligi olu ja et meie saakseme siis tunda teda. So that he is not only Lord but that he becomes free. Et ta ei ole ainult issand, vaid et tema saab sõbere. In Psalms 144 David said this. Ja siis laulus 44 taavet. Saare 44. Laul 144, laul 144 taavet ütles seda. He said, blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. Õnistatud on rahvas, kelle Jumal on issanda. We are blessed people. Et meie oleme õnistatud rahvas. And David said, I'm one of them and man, I'm so blessed. Ja taavet ütles, et mina olen üks neist ja ma olen nii õnistatud. When Jesus shows up, you need to make him Lord. Ja, kui Jeesus tuleb kohale, siis sina pead tegema temast issanda. You need to say, Lord, you are my God. Ja sa pead ütlema seda, et issand, sina oled minu Jumala. You are the one I choose to serve and give my life to. Sina oled see, keda mina valin teenida, kellele mina valin anda oma elu. And you are his and he is yours. Ja sina oled tema oma, tema on sinu oma. And it's in his presence you get to know him. Ja tema on ligi olus, sina saad teda tunnma. But I am in awe. Aga ma olen au kartuses. Sometimes I, I, I just sit and I just think, God, how amazed I am. Ja mõnikord ma istun ja mõtlen seda, et et Jumal kui lihtsalt hämmastunud ma olen. The fact that he wants to be close to me. Et sellest sellest faktist, et saad tahad olla koos minuga. The creator of the universe. Et kogu universumi looja. Created everything there is to see for more than we can even imagine. Kes on loonud kõik selle, mida me näeme ja palju enam kõiges sellest, mida mitse suudame ette kujutada. The creator of everything. Et kõige looja stops and says i want to know you peatub ja ütleb et mina tahan tunda sind and i want you to know me ja ma tahan seda et sina tunneksid mind and i want to, i want you to to let me into your life so we can live this life together ja ma tahan et sina laseksid mind enda elu et me saaksime elada seda elu koos and so jesus is the best friend that you could ever have ja jeesus on kõige parem sõber keda kes sul kunagi saab olla he's not far away he's here he loves you ta ei ole kaugel ta on siin ja tema armastab sind and many think that jesus is his lord and savior and king ja palju mõtta et seda et jeesus ta on issand ja pääst ja ta on kuningas but some never really think about jesus as friend aga mõned kunagi eriti ei mõtle selle jeesus Peale, kui sõbra peale. And I'm here to tell you today in your life Jesus is here. Aga ma ütlen sulle seda et sinu elu jaoks et Jeesus on siin. And he wants to be with you. He wants to be your friend. Ja ta tahab olla koos sinuga, ta tahab olla sinu sõbere. And I don't know about you but I want that to change in your life. Aga ma ei tea kuidas on lood sinuga, aga ma tahan et see tooks muutuse sinu elu. I want you to have a greater awareness that Jesus is your friend. Ma tahan et sa saaksid suurema teadmise aru saamise sellest et Jeesus on sinu sõber. And it's in his presence that you can know him intimately. Ja tema ligiolus sina saad teda lähedaselt tunnma intiimselt tunnma. We belong to him and he belongs to us. Ja meie kuulume temale ja tema kuulub meile. This is what what God wants from us. Ja see on see mida Jumal tahab meie and so if Jesus is here ja kui Jeesus on siin what is he doing siis mida ta teeb what is he doing mida ta teeb well i believe that he is here and he wants to be yours ja mus on seda et ta on siin ja ta tahab olla sinu oma he wants he wants you to be his ta tahab seda et sina oleksid tema oma he wants to have a closer relationship with you than you have with anybody else in your life ta tahab et teil oleks see lähedasem suhe kui sul on kelle ükskõik üks vahet ei ole kellega sinu eluse and it's because of his great love that we can have that relationship ja tänu tema suurele armastusel meil saab olla see suhe temaga we can have relationship and friendship meil saab olla see sõprus suhe temaga and we need to make the most of his presence ja me peame võtma maksimumi tema ligi olust you know the bible says in isaiah 55 verse 6 and 7 ja piibel ütleb ja saa 55 salmid 6 ja 7 says seek the lord while he may be found and call on him while he is near Otsig issendat, kui ta on leitav, hüüdke teda, kui ta on ligidale. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their, their thoughts and let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God for he will freely pardon. Õel jätku oma tee ja nurjatu mees oma mõtted ning pöördugu issenda poole, siis halastab temada peale ja meie Jumala poole, sest tema annab palju andeks. And so the Bible says, let us seek God while he may be found. Ja Bibel ütleb seda, et otsige issenda, et otsige Jumalat, kui ta on leitav. Seek the Lord while he's here. Otsige issenda, et kui ta on siin. Desire that presence, desire him in your life. Igatse seda tema ligiolu, igatse teda oma ellu. Desire his love to be poured out upon you. Igatse seda, et tema armastus saaks kallatud sinu üle. And you know what's going to happen? Ja kas sa tead, mis siis saab juhtuma? He's going to turn away and leave you. Et siis ta pöördub ümber ja ta jätab sind maha. No. Ei. What you desire he will give you. Et see mida sina igatsed seda ta sulle annab. You desire his love to be poured out and he will pour out his love 
in your heart kui, and on your life. Kui sina igatsed seda, et ta kallaks oma armastuse sinu ellu sinu peale, siis ta teeb seda, ta kallab oma armastuse sinu ellu ja sinu peale. He wants people to come. Ta tahab seda, et inimesed tuleksid. And he wants people to be changed. Ja et inimesed saaksid muudetuda. So that we can go out into the world and we could draw more people to come to know our God. Et me saaksime minna välja, et me saaksime rohkem inimesi siis koguda tundma meie Jumalat. He wants people to have no doubt that he is God. Ta tahab seda, et inimestel ei oleks mitte kui mingit kahtluski selle suhtes, et ta on Jumal. He wants us to have no doubt that he is the Lord and Savior. Ta tahab, et me ei kahtlakski selles, et tema on me isand ja meie pääst. And we will get to have that full understanding and knowledge. Ja me saab olla see täielik teadmine aru saama. When we get to know him. Kui me õpime teda tundma. And when we, be, when we develop that friendship with him. Ja kui me arendame selle sõprus suhte temaga. Where he is not just God. Kus ta ei ole lihtsalt Jumal, kõrgel. That we pull him down into our life as friend. Vaid, et, 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 et ta on siis keegi, kes tuleb meie ellu selleks, et olla meie sõbere. And that we would see more of who we are. Ja et meie rohkeme siis näeksime seda, kes me ei oleme. The more that we get into him. Kui meie läheme rohkem temasse. And the more we get into his presence. Ja mida rohkeme läheme tema ligi ollu. The more he will show us who he is. Seda rohkem tema näitab meile, kes on tema. Seek. His presence. Et otsige tema ligi olu. He's seeking you. Et tema otsib sinda. Seek his presence. Otsi tema ligi olu. Jesus is here. Jeesus on siin. Seek his a relationship with him. Otsi suhet temaga. Invite him. Kutsu teda. Or, or better to say, accept his invitation ja as he's invited you. Ja parem öelda seda, et võta vastu tema kutse, kuna tema on juba valinud, kutsunud sinda. We need to become more aware of him in our lives. Meie peame saama teadlikumaks temast meie eluse. And when we are, ja kui me oleme seda, our lives will be different from this day forward. Siis meie elud saavad olema teistmoodi tänases päevast edasi. God is an amazing God. Jumal on imeline Jumal. He is great and he is mighty. He created everything. Ta on suur, ta on võimas, ta on loonud kõike. But he will, will, will ask you to be his friend. Aga ta palub seda, kutsub sind oma sõbrakse. He has made you his child when you received Jesus Christ. Ta on teinud sind oma lapseks, kui sa võtsid vastu Jeesuse Kristuse oma isandaks. We become the children of God. Siis me ei saavad Jumala lapsede. But then he says, I want you to be my friend. Aga siis ta ütleb seda, et ma tahan, et sina oleksid minu sõber. I want you to be my friend. Ma tahan, et sina oleksid minu sõber. I want us to be able to talk about stuff. Ja ma tahan, et me oleksime võimesed rääkima asjadest. I want you to be able to share your thoughts and your days and your frustration with me. Ma tahan, et sa oleksid võimeline jagama oma mõtteid, oma päeva asju, neid asju, mis sind ärritavad, mis sulle valu teevad, et sa räägiksid neist minuga. What is it that bothers you? Share it with me. Mis on see, mis häirib sind ja jaga seda minuga? What is it that excites you? Share it with me. Mis on see, mis tekitab sulle põnevust? Jaga seda minuga. What is the best thing that you could have in life? Share that with me. Mis on see parim asi, mis sul saaks olla su elu jaoks? Jaga seda minuga. And I'm going to share my heart with you. Ja mina jagan oma südant sinuga. And I'm going to put in you what I have in me. Ja ma jagan oma südamest asju sulle ja ma panen sinusse seda, mis on minuse. And I'm going to take you to a better place. Ja ma viin sind paremasse paika. I'm going to help you to live at a higher level. Ma aitan sul elada kõrgemal tasemel. I'm going to help you to walk in blessings that you never dreamed that you could have. Ma aitan sul käia õnnistuse, õnnistustes, mille, milliseid sa üldse pole suutnud ette kujutadagi. And as we do this. Ja kui meie teeme seda. And do it now. Ja me teeme seda nüüd. Don't wait. Ära oota. Seek the Lord. Invite him into your life while he may be found. Oot siis enda, et kutsuda enda elu siis, kui on leitava. The supernatural help and the supernatural peace will üle loomulik abi, üle loomulik rahuse tuleb sulle. This is what we can have in our life. Ja see on see, mis meil saab olla meeluse. And we need to actively seek the Lord. Ja me aktiivselt peame otsima issandate. Actively seek his presence as a church. Aktiivselt kogudusena otsi tema ligi olu. When we come together, I don't want you to come and just say, okay, what does pastor have to say? Ja kui, sa, kui me tuleme siia kokku, siis ma ei taha, et sa tuleksid lihtsalt nii, et no vaatame nüüd, mis selle pastorile meil öelda on. I want you to come in here ready to get into the presence of vaid, God together. Ma, vaid ma tahan seda, et sa tuleksid siia valmis olekus koos minna Jumala ligi olla. What does God have for us et, mis Jumalal täna meie jaoks on? And as we do that, I believe the results are going to be our lives will, will, will live right. Ja kui me seda teeme, siis ma usun see, et tulemuseks saab olema see, et me elud saavad elatud õigesti. The more you seek him daily, the more you will live right daily. Mida rohkem sina teda otsid igapäevaselt, seda rohkem sa elad õigesti igapäevaselt. We're going to be pleasing to God. Ja me saame valmistama rõõmu Jumalale. And then he's going to be able to pour out his blessings upon us like never before. Ja siis ta on võimeline kallama me elud üle õnnistusega rohkem kui kunagi varem. So church. Nii et koguduse. Jesus is here. Jeesus on siin. Amen. Amen. Jesus is here. Jeesus on siin. Jesus is here. Jeesus on siin. He's called you. He wants you. Ta on kutsunud sind, ta tahab sinda. 
Like we said last week, he's searching every heart to see who can be used today. Nii nagu me rääkisime eelmise nädalal on, et ta vaatab ta otsi vigat südant, kes on see, vaata vigasse südamesse, kes on see, keda mina saan kasutada. Now today we see that he is standing here and he say, I want to be your friend. Ja täna me näeme seda, et ta on siin ja ja ta ütleb seda, et ma tahan olla sinu sõbere. I just encourage you to receive him today. Ja ma julgustan sind, võta ta täna vastu. Receive Jesus Christ as your friend. Võta Jeesus Kristus vastu kui oma sõbere. He is ours. Et tema on meie oma. We are his. Ja me ei oleme tema omad. Nobody could take him from you. Ja mitte kui keegi ei saa teda ära võtta sinult. Nobody could damage your friendship. Mitte keegi ei saa kahjustada teie sõprus suhete. Because there's nobody between you. Kuna teie kahe vahel ei ole mitte kui kedagi. He knows you better than you know yourself. Ja ta tunneb sind paremini kui sina ise. He already knows every decision you're going to make. Ta juba teab igat otsus, mida sina saad tegema. And he's here to say, I want to help you make them. Ja ta on siin, ta ütleb, et ma tahan sul aidata teha neid. I want to help you in your life. Ma tahan siin aidata sinu eluse. And so when we receive him into our life, ja et kui me meie võtame ta vastu enda elu, we need to stop and we need to thank him. Siis me peame peatuma ja me peame teda tänama. We need to praise him. Me peame teda kiitma. Praise him with our lips. Et kiida tema huultega. Praise him. Kiida teda oma huultega. Praise him by by lifting our hands. Kiida teda läbi selle, et sa tõstad oma käed üles. Worship him. Ülista teda. Because he is ours and we are his. Kuna tema on meie oma ja me ei oleme tema omade. We should desire relationship. Me ei peaksime igatsema suhete. Because he desires relationship with you. Kuna tema igatseb suhet sinuga. And when both of our desires come together. Ja kui meie mõlema need igatsused tulevad kokku. There is a supernatural thing that takes place and you are connected to him like never before. Siis toimub selline üleloomulik ühendus ja midagi väga üle loomuliku ja sa oled siis ühendatud temaga nii nagu mitte kui kunagi varem. So ja ma palun seda, et tõuse täna püsti koos minuga. Man, I, I want us to seek him. Ja ma tahan seda, et meie otsiksime teda. I want us as a church to desire his presence. Ma tahan seda, et meie kogudusena igaksime, igatseksime tema ligi olu. I want us to want him more than anything else right now. Ma tahan seda, et me praegu igatseksime teda rohkem kui midagi muuda. Because he is the only thing that truly matters in life. Kuna tema on see ainus asi, ainus, kes tegelikult on oluline siin elus. If he is Lord and God. Kui tema on issand ja Jumal. Then you should desire him. Siis sina peaksid teda igatsema. To serve him. Et teda ja teda teenida. But if he has paid the price that Jesus said that he did. Ja kui ta maksnud selle hinna, mida Jeesus ütles, et ta on maksnud. Jesus said I'm laying my life down as your friend. Jeesus ütles, et seda et ma panen oma elu maha selleks et olla sinu sõber. Because I love you. Kuna ma armastan sind. And I want to have friendship with you. Ja ma tahan sõprus suhet sinuga. I want to have relationship. Ma tahan suhet sinuga. So when my presence comes in, you'll know me. Nii et mu liige oluguse tuleb sisse, siis sina tunned selle ära. You'll always recognize. Sa alati tunned selle ära. And when, when we recognize him, we press into that. Ja kui me tunneme ta ära, siis me pressime sellesse liige ollu. This is what the Bible is telling us. Ja see on see, mida Biibel meile täna ütleb. Press in. Et pressi sisse. Press into the presence. Pressi sisse liige ollu. Press into the presence that you love. Pressi sisse sellesse liige ollu tema liige ollu keda sina armastad press into the presence you desire et pressi sisse sellesse liige ollu mida sina igatseda and he will fill your life to overflow ja tema täidab sinu elu ülepoolavalt that's the kind of god that we serve seda sorti jumalat meie teenime hallelujah let's Halleluja. raise our hands and worship ja tõstam oma käed kiituseks let's close our eyes paneme oma silmad kinni let's just begin to thank him ja hakkame teda kiitma oh father we thank you today isa me tänam sind täna we thank you today for for the the plan that you had me tänam sind täna selle plaani ees mis sul on meie ja Thank you that you loved us so much. Ai ta hat sinu olnud meid armastanud nii palju. That you sent your son to come and bring us back to you. Et sina saatsid oma poja nii et ta tuli siia et ta toks meid tagasi sinu juurde. Thank you for your love. Ai ta sulle sinu armastus eest. Thank you in all of our weirdness and all of our mistakes and all of our our shortcomings. Ai ta sulle sellest et sina sa armastad meid kõikide nende veidrustega ja nende puudu jääkidega ja kõigega mis me elus on. That you choose us. Et sina oled valinud meid. That you want to be with us. Et sina tahad olla koos meiega. You want us to become more like you. Ja sa tahad et me saaksime rohkem sinu sarnaseks. So Lord we open 
up our hearts and lives as a church today. Nii et isa me täna kogu sinna avame oma südamed oma elude. We want to be your friends. Meie tahame olla sinu sõbere. We want your presence. Meie tahame sinu liigi olu. We desire your presence. Meie igatseme sinu liigi olu. We long for your presence. Meie januneme su liigi olu järgi. And we thank you that you're here. Ja me tänam sind sellest et sa oled siin. We thank you Jesus that you're in this place. Jesus me tänam sind sellest et sina oled siin sellest paigas. Thank you that you're moving and that you're touching the hearts and lives of each and every one of us. Ja aita sulle sellest et sina liigud et sina puudutad sin kõik erinevad elusid ja süda meid that there would be nobody that would leave here today without knowing they've been in your presence. Kolm seda et sinu paigas oleks kedagi kes läheks siit ära nii et ta ei ole kogenud sinu ligi olu. Thank you for that power that's available. Ja aita sulle selle väe eest mis on saadaval. To help us through our struggle. Et aidata meid et me saaksime minna võidukalt läbi need seda raskustest mis Father whatever struggles people might be facing today. Ja isa on mis iga see iga nees raskused mis asjadega inimesed maadavad praegu enda elus. Thank you that you're more than enough. Ma täna sin sellest et sina oled rohkem kui küllaldane. You're more than enough to bring them out. Sina oled rohkem kui küllaldane et tuua nemad välja sellest. You're more than enough to strengthen them. Sa oled rohkem kui küllaldane et tugedada neid. You're more than enough to help lift them up. Sina oled rohkem kui küllaldane et tõsta neid üles. Bless their life. Õnnista nende elusid. We thank you for relationship. Ja me täname sinde suht eest. Thank you for relationship. Aitäh sulle suht eest. That day by day we could live knowing you are with us. Et päevas päeva me saame elada teades et sina oled koos meiega. Thank you for friendship. Aitäh sulle sõprus suht eest. Thank you for all the good things you think about us. Aitäh sulle nende kõikide head asjad ees mida sina mõtle meie kohta. Oh, we desire more and more of our a knowledge of you. Me igatseme rohkem ja rohkem sinu tundmiste. More I know you, the more I want to know. Mida rohkem sin tunnen seda rohkem ma tahan sin tunda. The more I'm with you, the more I want to be. Mida rohkem olen koos sinuga, seda rohkem ma tahan olla sinuga koos. The more you love me, the more I want to be loved. Mida rohkem sa mind armastad, seda rohkem ma tahan olla armastatud. The more you do for me, the more I want to do for you. Mida rohkem sa teed minu jaoks, seda rohkem ma tahan teha sinu jaoks. We love you, Lord. Isa, me armastame sind. We thank you for your presence. Me täname sind su ligiolu eest. Thank you Jesus that you're here. Jeesus me täname sind sellest et sina oled siin. We thank you that you're here. Me täname sind et sa oled siin. We thank you that you're here. Ai täh et sina oled siin. I am yours. Mina olen sinu oma. You are mine. Sina oled minu oma. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask the worship team to come. Palun seda et ülistusmeeskond tuleks. We're going to sing a song that says those words. Ja me laulame laulu mis ütleb need sõnad. I am yours. Mina olen sinu oma. You are mine. Ja sina oled minu oma. And I want you just to declare this the, the 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 words of this song from your heart. Ja ma tahan et sa ütleksid välja neid laulu sõnu oma oma südamest lähtuvalt. I realize that maybe you don't know this song by heart. Ja ma mõistan seda et võib-olla sa ei tea peas seda laulu. You might have to read the words from the wall. Et sa võib-olla pead neid sõnu lugema sealt seina pealt. But when you sing these words. Aga kui sa laulad neid sõnu. Sing them from your heart. Si sa laula neid oma südamest. Because I think this should be our prayer. This should be our desire. Kuna mus on seda et see peaks olema meie palve, see peaks olema meie as we grow in our faith in him et me kasvame oma usus temas that we grow in our, our, our understanding of his presence et me oleme kasvanud tema ligiolu tundmises and that we understand that we belong to him and he belongs to us ja et me mõistame seda et meie kuulume talle ja ta kuulub meile from this day forward he is going to be with us ja alates tänases päevas seda on si et ta on koos meiega how many want that ja kui väl teist tahavad seda oh i want that ja mina tahan seda i desire that for you mina igatsen seda sinu jaoks i desire that you would know your god but you would know him as your friend. Ma igatsen seda et sa tunneksid oma Jumalat, aga et sa tunneksid teda ka kui oma sõpra. That you would be changed in his presence. Et sina saaksid muudetud tema ligiolus. There is nothing like the presence of God. Kuna ei ole mitte midagi võrreldavat Jumala ligioluga. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to turn off the lights. Ja palun tuled. Hallelujah. Father, I love you. Isa, ma armastan sind. I thank you for your church today. Ma tänan sind ja su koguduse eest. And as we leave from this place after we sing this song. Ja kui me läheme siit paigast peale seda kui me oleme laulnud selle laulu. Father, may we take your presence with us. Isa, lasme võtta sinu ligiolu kaasa meiega. And I thank you. Ja ma tänan sind selle eest. I thank you for your love. Ai täh sulle sinu armastus eest. Thank you for your your friendship. Ai täh sulle sinu sõprus suhte eest. Thank you for all the help that you give to us. Ai täh sulle sinu sõprus eest. Tänu sulle kõige selle abi eest, mida sa annad meile. Give you praise and give you glory. Ja anname sulle kiitus ja au. Jesus name. Jesus in nimele. Father, you are so good. Isa, sa oled nii hea. Let your presence melt our hearts. Ja las sinu ligi olu sulatada me südamele. Fill this place. Täida see paik. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ai täh sulle Jeesus. Thank you, Lord. Ai täh sulle issanda. Thank you, Lord.
Halleluja. Tänu Jumala. Ta usun, et sul saab olema äh, imeline pärast lõuna koos Jeesusega. Et hoia kinni selles sõbrast, kelle sa oled saanud. Õnnistad nädalat sulle.